Outreach, I'm sorry, All Truth Church. Pastor David and I, we also pastor a church in San Bernardino. And we want to welcome you guys to come out. We have services every Sunday at 2 p.m. And I'm going to share the address. The address is 2096 Adam Street, San Bernardino, California, 924. 407. If you need more information, please make sure to send us a message on Messenger at David Lorena All Truth. Amen. And uh, we also want to encourage you guys that if you guys can please help to support by liking and sharing this video. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to get right into the word. And I'm going to go ahead and read out of Genesis chapter 32, verse 24. And the word of God says, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Amen. You see, Jacob held on. He, he kept holding on until the Lord blessed him. Wow. I'm going to read another verse. Praise the Lord. It's here in 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 10. But... Uh, Eliezer, Alazar, I believe his name is, Eliezer, excuse me, stood his ground. There's another version that says he stationed himself. Amen. And we just want to thank you for tuning in to uh, Vision TV, to, to, to uh, this station here. But this man of God stationed himself. He stood his ground and attacked the Philistines. Until his hand was tired and stuck to his sword. The Lord brought about a great victory that day. That the troops came back to him, but only to plunder the dead. Amen. And here uh, you see this mighty man of God, this mighty man, one of David's mighty men that stationed himself. And the Bible says that he fought Till the sword was fastened in his hand. Yeah. Until the sword was stuck to his hand. Mm. It was something supernatural. Amen? Amen? He held on. He kept holding on. And that's going to be the topic of my message today. Is that my message today is keep holding on. No matter what you're going through in this season, keep holding on. Amen? Hold on to the Lord. Hold on to the promises of God. Hold on to the blessings of God. Hold on to your marriage. Hold on to your church. Come on. Hold on to your victory. Hold on to your faith. But, you know, what I notice now, nowadays... And the church, and I'm going to go ahead and talk with my wife, we're going to talk about this, is that a lot of people are procrastinating, amen? There's a lot of people that, that are not uh, 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 really showing reverence to the things of God. In a sense of, if God opens up a door, if God puts you in a position to be blessed, I notice that people are not really going after the things of God. It's almost like people are procrastinating. Amen? Yes. Where you could see there's not that urgency. There's not that passion or that burning desire. But that's the way Esau was. Amen? And, that, and we just studied about Jacob. Is that Esau was a procrastinator. You know, God offered Esau a blessing. He was the firstborn and he was the next in line to be blessed. But Esau, he procrastinated. There wasn't a urgency. There wasn't a reverence 
a, a fear of God to take the blessing. And I believe that people, you know, I see people in this season, they're kind of dragging their feet. You know, it's like God is calling you to be at church. God is calling you to be at Sunday service, but you're too tired. You're, pro you're procrastinating. You're like, I'd rather stay home. I'd rather uh, sleep. I'd rather relax. You see, I believe that there needs to be an urgency again. There needs to be a passion for the things of God. You see, there needs to be a desire because if you want to be blessed, if you want to be blessed, we must go after it. The Bible says that God will bless those who pursue him. There needs to be a burning desire to come after the things of God. And if, and, and if you go after the blessing, I believe that God will give you his best. Amen. And honey, what are your thoughts on that? Amen. I completely understand. Yes, we need to be those that are, you know, busy in, in the things of God. And we, um, you know, something that you said really I learned from and I it stuck out to me was that a lot of people um, are blessed and maybe financially or maybe they have, you know, been blessed in this life. But are they still giving God all the glory amen job said he said he, he in the in the book of job it says job praised god all the time amen and, and and god was blessing him and so i think that we need to be those that seek after god we need to be relentless and we need to trust god at all times uh no matter what amen praise the lord but the word of god says that jacob was so desperate for the blessing of God he was so hungry for the blessing of God that the Bible says that he was alone and he was going through a time of being distressed he was distressed he was stressed out but he was alone and the Bible says that he read he wrestled with the angel of the Lord that he got into a grappling match because he wanted the blessing of God you see and he told the angel the angel says told, told Jacob release me but Jacob wouldn't release the angel until he got blessed he says I will not let you go until you bless me amen and I and see he could have been in a boxing match with the angel he could have done some stuff standing up fighting he could have fought the angel with some a uh, uh, multi and karate or or boxing but it's interesting that he wrestled the angel you see when god calls us to 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 pursue him when god calls us to be blessed sometimes he will bring us low because when I think of wrestling, sometimes wrestlers end up on the ground. I mean, the majority of wrestlers uh, tumble on the ground. They're rolling over on the ground. It's a fight that will bring you to the ground. Amen? And, and when you really want the blessing of God, you're going to hold on no matter where the Lord is takes you amen this is the season that god wants to take you to the next level amen we need to hold on to the blessings of god uh the bible says that the angel uh he he injured jacob jacob's leg was injured but he kept on fighting his leg was dislo dislocated but he kept on fighting when you really want a blessing from god no matter how hurt you get you're going to still hold on. That's good. No matter what pain you're feeling, you're going to still hold on. You see, the Bible says that Jacob's thigh was dislocated. And when you're really called by God, when God gets ready to bless you, it's going to hurt. You see, so, some of you might feel dislocated from, from your family right now. But you're blessed by God. Amen. Some of you feel dislocated from this world right now. But you're blessed by God. Some of you feel dislocated from your friends right now. But you're blessed by God. You see, you need to understand what Jacob's name means. And it means heel catcher. See, Jacob was the kind of person that he wouldn't allow an opportunity to pass him by. That's what his name was. His name was a heel catcher. Meaning this, 
is that he was in a position to catch the blessing, to cease the blessing. Let me ask you this. Are you in a position to cease your moment? Are you in a position to capture your blessing? Or are you asleep? See, when God calls you to Sunday service, are you in a position to go to the house of God and be a blessing? Amen. We're going to have our Sunday service this Sunday. Amen. And God is Amen. opening up a new a new building a new church service in san bernardino and you could be part of that movement it's a movement of god we're going to have powerful preachers and speakers the anointing of god is going to be flowing there and you could cease the moment you could be part of this movement are you going to be at home sleeping or are you going to wake up and cease the moment because god doesn't call us to walk by sight he calls us to walk he, he calls us to walk by faith and jacob was a man who wanted to be blessed by god so he 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 took the blessing from his brother esau but then here he finds himself wrestling with the angel he wasn't going to let this blessing pass him by and he asked the angel to bless him amen honey why don't you just go ahead and share what's in your heart right now Amen. And, you know, Esau was, was uh, a man who he was, he was, uh, he wanted the easy route, you know, and sometimes in life, the easy route, it, it seems more appealing for the moment, right? It seems better to sleep in and not go to church or, you know, it seems better to sleep on your gifts. Amen. But you know what? God is not calling you to be an Esau. God is calling you to be a Jacob. God yes. is calling you to arise. God is calling you to do a work for him. You know what? You may not be seen anything in the physical. It may be the same old, same old. But you know what? As you are going out there and you are minute, yes. and you are doing what God called you to do, as you're going and you're hearing the word of God, God is going to speak to you and he's going to order your steps. Amen. Some people don't even want to get into the word anymore. Mm, come on, preach it. They don't preach even want to get into the word anymore. You know what? We are so blessed in this time because we have the whole counsel of God. Amen. Yes. We have no excuse, you know, to go and go to the word of God and, and learn from him and glean from him and have him order our steps. And, you know, I know that my husband and I, we are we are ready for the challenge. We're running. Amen. With what God has for us. And God has been so gracious. And the same thing he's done for us, he will do for you. Amen. You have a calling. And in the name of Jesus, that lying spirit that is telling you to not go to church, we rebuke it right now in jesus name father i pray you're gonna send someone you're gonna quicken them even right now father god and lord they are gonna be in church tomorrow father god for your honor and your glory because you want to speak to them lord you're a good god amen this is a new season and god is moving in a mighty way amen, amen. god is about to bring a wave of glory so you need to station yourself in the house of god you need to have a fear for God again and a fear is a reverence a awe a respect and when you station yourself in the house of God you are positioning yourself to be blessed by God in 2nd Samuel 23 verse 10 it talks about the man that he was fighting against the enemy and even though he was tired the sword fastened on his hand the sword stuck to his hand amen this is what i'm saying is that god is going to give you supernatural strength to hold on amen amen the bible says that in the, in the book of psalms that god commands your strength and right now in the name of jesus christ the lord is commanding your strength Amen. it's a commandment from heaven in joshua chapter one the word of god says to be strong and courageous this is the season that god is calling you to be strong and there's a purpose why you must be strong is because God wants you to keep on holding on. God is calling you to hold on. Amen. Amen. The word of God talks about the Samaritan woman, that the Samaritan woman saw Jesus and she was a heel catcher. Amen. She was the offspring of Jacob. And she, when she saw Jesus, she ceased the moment. And the Bible says that she grabbed his garment. Amen. She held on. 
There was a woman that she was asking Jesus for a miracle for her daughter to be delivered because her daughter was demon possessed. And Jesus called her a dog, but she humbled herself. She grappled with the Lord. She allowed the Lord to bring her low and she still had faith. She said, Jesus, even the dogs eat the crumbs off the master's table. And Jesus blessed that woman and delivered her daughter because she held on. Amen. This is a word that God is calling his people to hold on. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Amen. We Hallelujah. praise you, Lord. You see, the word of God says that when Jesus died on the cross, he stood on the cross for me and you to forgive us of our sins. And I want to encourage you this afternoon. Jesus Christ held on. He held on because he loved you. He held on because he loved me. He held on because he had a purpose. And when you hold on to the promises of God, when you hold on to the word of God, you put yourself in a position to be a blessing. You put yourself in a position to be blessed. You put yourself in a position to bless the next generation. The word of God says because Jacob wrestled with the angel, they blessed the angel blessed him and changed his name from heel catcher to Israel the Lord made him into a prince and what Israel means it means he will rule as God see God gave him dominion God took him from poverty to power God gave him prestige God brought greatness into his life but it wasn't a blessing just for him it was a blessing for his children and his children's children this is what I'm saying when you hold on to the Lord when you make a a definite decision to hold on to God he will release a great blessing in your life that will not just bless you but it will bless your children it will bless your grandchildren your children's children G who held on to the promises of God G who killed Jezebel and because he held on the Bible says that he got God blessed three of his sons that they they were on the throne he had three generations blessed you see God is about to bless your children your children's children because you're gonna make a definite decision to hold on the word of God says that the sword was stuck to his hand I want to encourage you God is gonna give you power he's gonna give you power to hold on you might feel weak right now but I decree to you the power of God is coming upon you right now that you may cease your moment that you may take your mountain that you may catch Jesus by the heel because now is your time glory to God go ahead and preach honey amen and you know what after you've gone through the fire you're gonna come out as gold amen God is gonna raise you up God has plans for you to prosper yes, you not yes. to harm you to give you a hope in a future and maybe you're saying right now somebody out there is saying that they're tired well i want to encourage you we all get tired amen but you know what we're soldiers for god and we get back up because we need to have a vision amen just like this is called vision tv amen we walk by faith and not by sight you need to be a visionary you need to ask god what is the vision for your life amen Amen. You're, are you content with the same old, same old? Are you content Come with on. just sitting in the church pews? Are you content with letting your family uh, uh, not know the Lord and not speaking out? Are you afraid? God says he's not giving you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a yes. sound mind. And I want to give somebody a word who's been tired of holding on. on. In Galatians 6, 9, the word of God says, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up i want to tell you child of god don't worry about what's going on on your left who's doing what on your left yeah that christian that's not walking with the lord don't worry about them let's no don't worry about what's happening to your right if all hell's breaking loose all around you you keep your eyes focused on jesus and i guarantee you your weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning yes. hallelujah he's gonna restore you he's gonna endure you with the power of the holy spirit amen and you are gonna 
do great and mighty things that you do not even know because God is going to do it through you. Amen. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit is in you? If you have not received the Holy Ghost, I speak right now in the name of Jesus that, Father, you baptize them in the Holy Ghost right now in Jesus' name, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You see, when God, when, when God was talking about uh, Abraham, when, when uh, the writer was talking about Abraham, the man of faith, it said that he was hoping against hope. In other words, when you think of hope, he was holding on. He was holding on to the promises of God by glorifying God. But it, it, it talks about that he was holding on against hope. And what was the hope that, that he was holding on against was that he was supposed to die. You see, uh, people had an understanding that once you hit a certain age, you're supposed to die. Amen? Which reminds me about Lazarus. When Lazarus died, all the Jewish people were hoping that that, that was it for Lazarus, that they were going to go ahead and put the tomb in. That was his funeral, and it was over. It was a hope. It was an understanding that Lazarus was dead. But when Jesus hit the scene, Jesus changed that. Amen? He came against their hope. He came against their expectation that Lazarus was dead. He was done. There was going to be no more Lazarus. But when Jesus came forth, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. You see, this is your season that God is going to do something mighty in your life through the promises of God. This is what I'm asking you to do is to keep on hoping on the promises of God. And how could you hope in the promises of God is keep on holding on. Amen. Amen. Keep on holding on. You see, Amen. because Jesus held on. Jesus knew that Lazarus was going to be raised from the dead. It was hope against hope because Abraham believed and he hoped against hope even though it was a fact that he was dying. God quickened his body because he believed. He held on. He held on to the promises of God. And this is the season that God is going to bless you because you're going to hold on and God is going to give you supernatural power to hold on. Even though you had a setback, this is your season to have a comeback. God is going to bless you and give you strength to grasp, to hold on. Amen. And I'm going to finish with this. There is a woman that the Lord blessed her with a son. And she was trusting God. And she made a decision to house a prophet by the name of Elijah. And Elijah gave her a prophetic word that she was going to have a son. But her son died. Her dream died. And she went looking for Elijah. And, the Eli and, and Elijah had his disciple and Elijah's disciple stood in front of her and he says, what do you want? Is everything okay? And she said, all is well. All is well. And the Bible says as soon as she connected with Elijah that she held on. That she grabbed him by the feet and she held on. The Bible says that Elijah's disciple ran over there to push her off. But the prophet said, no. Let her hold on. Let her hold on. Because God was going to use the prophet to resurrect her son. This is what I want to share to you. Is keep on holding on. Because what has died in your life. That one thing that God has blessed you with. God is about to resurrect it. God is about to bring it, to, bring it back to life. And it's going to happen because you're going to hold on. Oh, this is your season to hold on. Because as you hold on, God is going to release his anointing. The woman with the issue of blood, because she held on to the Lord. There was virtue. There was power that was released from Jesus. And when you hold on to the Lord, he's going to release vitality. He's going to release power. He's going to release energy. He's going to release strength into your life. The Lord commands your strength. Keep on holding on. Do you want to say anything, honey? Amen. And I just... I, that was just such a powerful word. I thank you guys for, for tuning in today. Keep holding on. Remember, when you 
are going through the darkest times, when you are struggling in your faith, whatever you're going through, and it's so hard to hold on, and you're, and you're still holding on, remember, God is getting glory out of your life. Remember, Job, how much glory God got out of his life. Amen. Yes. God restored to him double for all his troubles. So don't worry. God is going to bless you. You guys have uh, so much to look forward to in the Lord. And praise God. That was a awesome word. Amen. Praise God. I feel encouraged. And I thank you so much for sharing. Um, I feel like I learned a lot today. And um, praise the thank Lord. You for thank watching. you. God bless you. Arise and shine. Please like and share this video. And we'll see you next week. Amen. Here on Arise and Shine. Arise, Arise and shine, shine, for your light, light has come, come, and the glory of the Lord, Lord has, has risen, risen upon, upon you. you. God Goodbye. bless you.